guys, so it's supposed to be recording right now. And I'm here today with Zach, Diablo Flamenco. Nice to see you, man, again today. Hey, uh, let, people, let people know, why are we today here? So we have touched on the news briefly on, on my channel um, that Mara and I have been collaborating on a new method book. And we finally want to share some news with you guys about it and give you a little sneak peek. Um, Give you a little bit of the story of why we decided to do this too. So I guess Mario, we go back to the beginning, right? You know, I studied under you first. We did content together with probably four other guys, and and that's how I first met you. And then I finally met you in person in Spain last year, July 2022, where we met up and uh, spent the day together. And we both had this idea at the same time, which was funny because we worked together with our other students in Familia Flamenca, and we both said, let's write a book and see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we were both on board, you know, Mari and I have always worked well together, so we said, yeah, let's write a book and, and see what we can do. And then came the time of, what is this book going to be about? And we figured, a uh, book of falsettas, book of just one follow, you know, and then all of a sudden I figured, what if we take Mario's method of teaching Kante and put it on paper instead of in his typical course? Because I realized that there are very few resources for Kante that's specifically written in English. If there is stuff in English that's very hard to understand and the teacher might assume that you know more than you actually do. So I figured, what if we do a beginner Kante accompaniment book with Mario's friends who are singers and publish it? It would be the first published flamenco guitar method book that's tailored to accompany Kante. That's specifically written in English. So that's where we got the idea. Yeah, that's it. That's so. So for me, as a Spaniard. So as like three different, like a few different things, as a Spaniard, as a flamenco interpreter from Spain, for me like the last year was my my goal was to like how can I write down like all the things that happen through my mind while a flamenco party takes place here in Spain, no? because when I am on a flamenco party, I accompany singers, and so many things happen just one time. So of course, like difficult to make a book of that, that. We can make that, but right now the idea was to like get like the minimum things that you need to know to be able to accompany a singer singing tangos, alegrias, solea, and fandangos. They are like the four different palos styles that we decide to choose, we choose for the book. And as I told, which, as Zach said a few minutes ago, it's like, we take like the minimum things that you need to it's not a lot of exercises, it's a lot of falsettas, it's a lot of theory. It's two falsettas for each palo, it's like a two, three different compass, rhythm variations for each palo that you will use just to accompany the letters that we say. We also translate all the lyrics. It was a really funny thing for us because we enjoy a lot doing that. It was really difficult sometimes to try to translate in a few things. But guys, at the end, is, as a guitar player, you have to know how important it is to know something about flamenco singing, because everything that you are playing today came from flamenco singers. Because flamenco guitars take appear on stage in the on the scene of the flamenco history after the singers and maybe after the dancers, also. because it was something like after everything. So and thanks to the singers and the dancers. We have today the guitar, flamenco guitar. Mm -hmm. So I don't want you to. I, I, we don't want yourself to be an expert of flamenco auto company singers. If you want to, that's great for you. But just to know something about that, and also you will be able to recognize sometimes when you hear a singer with a guitar player. Sometimes you will recognize also some repertoire that you are studying at home. So it also will motivate yourself. So it's really important, guys, to listen to singers, listen to flamenco singing, and try to, with the time, to understand 
what is happening around like a singer and a flamenco guitar. Because it's going to make you enjoy so much more like the process of selling flamenco guitar. So if you want a second, let me let me share I can share the, with the guys the the like the front page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here's a little sneak peek of the book so you can see uh this is the finalized cover that we're happy with um, and the title of the book, which I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, what's the, the title? And here it is. It's yeah. uh, Cante Toque, uh, singing and playing, basically, in, in English. Yeah. It's the guitarist toolbox for accompanying flamenco singers. That's it. So, guys, that's it. I uh, hope you like it. So, I hope also that you get it and enjoy the all the material that we got ready. So it's really structured, really step by step. It's also will have some videos inside and uh, that will help yourself to understand in a better way like so many so much material, so many so many things that we explain into the book. So hope that you enjoy that. Hope that it helps you to understand in a better way how flamenco singing works. I also want to thank Zach because I know that it's really difficult sometimes to work with myself because I get so much distracted every day with so many things that I'm involved on. Um, Zach really helped myself to to have a structure to give like a, a really guide, you know, to okay, let's do that after that to that after that to that like three really step by step method that use my point of view of the singing but with the point of view of the structure of this guy. So thanks a lot. Sorry. And thanks to, to Mario as well, because this is what I first learned from him. This kind of advanced my understanding a little bit more by trying to write this on paper, you know, because accompaniment is not common here in the States. And that was another goal of writing this book was to give you guys the opportunity to accompany singers, because you're probably not going to unless you either go to Spain and really study and someone is saying, yeah, you can play for me. Or if you're lucky and there's a tablao or a dance school or something close to you, but that's not very common. So we wanted to give you guys the opportunity to feel as if you have a live singer next to you. We have four of Mario's friends that he went to school with that are fantastic singers that volunteered their voices to us for this book and to you guys to study. Um, so there's going to be full performances in the book. You guys have compas, you have falsettas, you have a few exercises. So this isn't just... A book this is a full experience that we hope you guys will study for for many years once we publish this to you guys thanks man also thanks guys I hope that it helps or all yourself to improve and to like increase your knowledge about flamenco guitar for accompanying guitarists thanks guys see you soon